Welcome, my friends, to a realm of darkness and suspense. Tonight, I invite you to join me on a journey through three bone-chilling tales of those who serve and protect. Brace yourselves, for we are about to delve into a realm of true horror. In our first story, we encounter the horrifying, mysterious murder. Next, we find ourselves in a decaying home that harbors a horrifying secret. A distress call sets our officer on a path of inexplicable phenomena and unimaginable terror. And finally, our officer stumbled upon a clandestine cult in the heart of the foreboding forest. He witnesses sinister rituals and faces the unfathomable darkness that consumes those who dare to delve too deep. But I cannot face these horrors alone. I ask you, my friends, to subscribe to this channel and hit that like button. Your support means everything to me as a new creator. Share these spine-chilling tales with your friends, for together we can spread the terror and unravel the mysteries that lie within. Relax and listen to our police stories. Enjoy. The city night was alive with the rhythmic pulse of the radio as Officer Johnson and I cruised through the dimly lit streets. We were partners in this chaotic dance, bound by the shared duty to protect and serve. The night was pregnant with possibilities, a canvas awaiting the brushstrokes of fate. Officer Johnson, a seasoned veteran with a grizzled exterior, was a walking encyclopedia of street knowledge. His rugged demeanor hit a heart of gold, and his unwavering loyalty had earned him the respect of the entire department. He had seen it all, the triumphs and the tragedies, and his experience had become a beacon of guidance for rookies like me. And then there was me, Officer Ryan Thompson, a fresh-faced recruit eager to make a difference. I had joined the police with a fervent belief in justice. As we patrolled the city's labyrinthine streets, the crackle of the radio broke the silence, jolting us into alertness. The dispatcher's voice echoed through the static, relaying a distress call that sent shivers down my spine. All units shots fired reported in the vicinity of Maple Street 13. All units respond immediately repeat, shots fired on Maple Street 13. The urgency in the dispatcher's voice propelled us into action. With lights flashing and sirens wailing, we tore through the streets, racing against time to reach the scene. Adrenaline coursed through my veins, mingling with a sense of trepidation that tightened its grip on my chest. Maple Street loomed before us, a seemingly innocuous suburban neighborhood transformed into a harbinger of impending doom. We arrived on the scene ahead of the other units, our patrol car skidding to a halt near the house from which the gunshots had been reported. We cautiously exited the vehicle, our hands instinctively gravitating towards our holstered weapons. Officer Johnson, with his weathered demeanor, exuded an air of calm authority as we approached the house. The front door stood ajar. The metallic scent of blood assaulted my senses as we stepped over the threshold, our flashlights piercing the oppressive gloom. Traces of crimson stained the walls like morbid brush strokes, leading us further into the heart of this macabre tapestry. And then there they were. Bodies arranged in a grotesque tableau, their lifeless forms arranged in the shape of a chilling pentagram. The sheer horror of the scene threatened to overwhelm my senses, but I fought to maintain my composure. A man was sitting in the middle. My voice quivered with a mixture of fear and authority as I shouted, Police! Drop your weapon, hands in the air! The man at the center of the room, his eyes ablaze with madness, turned his gaze upon me. His laughter echoed through the house, sending shivers down my spine. It was as if he had peered into the depths of my soul, uncovering the darkest corners of my past. Good evening, Officer Thompson, he said. How... how do you know my name? I managed to choke out, my voice laced with equal parts disbelief and dread. His lips curled into a grotesque smile, revealing a sinister knowledge that pierced through my defenses. Oh, Officer Thompson, your secrets are not as hidden as you believe. Your sister's loss, a wound that festers deep within your soul. I know because I was there. I was the one who took her from you, he hissed, his words a venomous taunt. My heart pounded in my chest, a mix of fury and anguish swelling within me. How could this monster, this embodiment of evil, hold knowledge that only I should possess? No one knew about my sister's disappearance. The weight of the truth threatened to crush me, but I refused to be consumed by the darkness. Before I could find my voice, a chilling twist of fate unfolded before my eyes. Our gun slipped from our grasp, clattering to the floor, as if manipulated by an unseen force. Panic coursed through my veins as the man seized one of the fallen weapons, his finger curling around the trigger. Goodbye, Officer Thompson, he sneered, 
his voice distorted with madness, and in that fateful moment, a single gunshot shattered the air as the man ended his own tormented existence. Officer Johnson and I stood frozen, our eyes locked on the lifeless figure before us. The room grew eerily silent, the weight of the unspeakable tragedy pressing down upon us. We were left with questions that may never find answers haunted by a darkness that threatened to consume us. As we left the house, other police cars arrived. The night air felt colder, and the cacophony of the city died away. The report said the man attacked me, grabbed a gun, and shot himself in the head. We didn't write anything else to keep the secrets out of the open. The memory of that encounter etched itself deep within me, a scar that would forever remind me of the horrors that lurked beneath the surface of our world. But I vowed to continue the fight, to be the beacon of justice my sister never had. The road ahead was treacherous and filled with shadows, but I knew that as long as I stood alongside officers like Johnson, we could face the darkest of demons together. The night was a blanket of darkness, swallowing the city in its embrace. I sat behind the wheel of my patrol car, the soft glow of the dashboard illuminating the solitude within. The streets were quiet. The only sounds echoing in the distance were the faint hum of the engine and the occasional siren wailing in the night. As I drove through the empty avenues, my mind began to wander, lost in the depths of my own thoughts. The stillness was eerie, the kind that sent shivers down your spine. But it was a feeling I had grown accustomed to over the years, a companion on these desolate nights. Suddenly, crackling over the radio, a voice pierced the silence, breaking the monotony of the night. Dispatch was calling in, reporting a disturbance in an old, decrepit building on the outskirts of town. My heart quickened its pace as I gripped the steering wheel, preparing myself for what lay ahead. With each passing streetlight, the building loomed larger, casting long, ominous shadows across the road. The windows were shattered, revealing the darkness within. The air grew colder, as if the building itself exhaled a chilling breath, welcoming me into its macabre embrace. I parked the patrol car outside, the flickering street lamp casting an eerie glow on the worn pavement. Stepping out into the night, I could hear the soft whispers of the wind, carrying with it the faint cries of the forgotten souls that once inhabited this place. As I approached the entrance, the creaking door swung open, as if beckoning me inside. I cautiously stepped over the threshold, the beam of my flashlight slicing through the thick darkness. The air was heavy with a musty scent, the scent of neglect and decay. The sound of my footsteps echoed throughout the empty hallways the wooden floorboards groaning under my weight. Each room I entered held its own secrets, remnants of a forgotten past. Broken furniture, faded photographs, and an atmosphere of dread hung in the air. But as I ventured deeper into the heart of the building, a sense of foreboding engulfed me. The shadows seemed to dance, their movements fluid and sinister. The temperature dropped, my breath visible in the dim light, a ghostly reminder of my own mortality. Then I heard it, a faint whisper carried on the wind. I followed the sound, my footsteps quickening, fueled by a mix of curiosity and trepidation. The whispers grew louder, taunting me, their words unintelligible but filled with malice. I reached the end of a long corridor, a heavy wooden door standing before me. With a trembling hand I pushed it open, revealing a room shrouded in darkness. My flashlight flickered, casting eerie shadows on the walls. And there, in the center of the room, I saw her. A figure cloaked in darkness, her face obscured. She stood motionless, her presence suffocating, the air thick with another worldly energy. A cold chill ran down my spine as I stared into her empty eyes, feeling the weight of her gaze upon me. With a sudden surge of bravery, I took a step forward, my heart pounding in my chest. But as I approached, she vanished into thin air, leaving behind only a lingering sense of dread. The room fell silent once more, the whispers extinguished, I stumbled out of the building, the night air feeling heavy against my skin. The patrol car stood before me, a beacon of safety in the darkness. I climbed inside, my hands trembling on the steering wheel, trying to make sense of the horrors I had witnessed. As I drove away from that forsaken place, I couldn't help but wonder what secrets it held. What darkness lurked within its walls. The night patrol had shown me a glimpse into a world beyond our own. A realm where terror reigned supreme. And so... As the night unfolded before me, 
I knew that my duty as a policeman would forever be intertwined with the horrors that hid in the shadows. I was but a mere witness, a vessel for the stories of true horror that whispered through the night. The night air was thick with an unsettling stillness as I navigated the winding roads that led to the outskirts of the city. My patrol car's headlights pierced through the darkness, cutting a path through the dense forest that loomed on either side. Dispatch crackled to life, the voice tinged with urgency, reporting an unusual event occurring deep within the woods. As I approached the designated location, a sense of unease settled in the pit of my stomach. The trees stood tall and foreboding, their branches reaching out like gnarled fingers against the night sky. I parked the car and stepped out into the cool, crisp air, my flashlight casting a focused beam that illuminated the path ahead. I cautiously made my way through the dense foliage, my heart pounding in my chest. The forest seemed to envelop me, its eerie silence broken only by the rustling of leaves beneath my boots. The dispatch voice echoed in my mind, urging me to proceed cautiously. After what felt like an eternity, I stumbled upon a clearing bathed in moonlight. There, before me, was a sight that defied explanation. A group of individuals dressed in dark attire formed a circle around a flickering fire. Strange symbols adorned the ground, hinting at a ritual taking place. Without delay, I reached for my radio, my fingers trembling as I called for backup. My voice crackled through the static, summoning my fellow officers to join me in this mysterious encounter. The forest seemed to hold its breath as I awaited their arrival, the tension thickening with each passing second. As my fellow officers arrived, we approached the group cautiously, our training guiding our every move. Flashlights pierced the darkness, illuminating the scene before us. Startled, the individuals halted their chanting, their faces reflecting a mix of surprise and defiance. We swiftly moved to apprehend them, ensuring their compliance as we placed them under arrest. Yet even as the restraints were secured, an eerie presence lingered, the forest appeared to come alive, casting dancing shadows and whispering secrets that eluded our understanding. Confusion and curiosity filled our thoughts as we led the individuals away. The air buzzed with unanswered questions, and we knew that the ordeal was far from over. Back at the police station, we conducted thorough interviews, searching for the truth behind their enigmatic ritual and the strange phenomena that had gripped the forest. Their explanations, although bizarre, pointed to a sect with obscure beliefs, invoking ancient practices for their own purposes. The individuals themselves seemed to be unaware of the true consequences of their actions, caught up in a web of misguided faith and misguided loyalty. Nevertheless, as we delved deeper into the investigation, we discovered unsettling coincidences and unexplained occurrences. Shadows danced in the corners of our vision, and whispers echoed through empty hallways. The forest's secrets seemed to have seeped into our reality, leaving us questioning the boundaries of what we thought we knew. Throughout the process, we remained steadfast in our duty to uncover the truth. Working alongside experts in the field, we pieced together fragments of knowledge about ancient rituals, drawing from historical records and academic research. This collaboration shed light on the sect's intentions and shed a sliver of understanding on the paranormal phenomena we had witnessed. With the evidence gathered, we pursued legal action against the sect members, ensuring they faced the consequences of their actions. The police station, now devoid of their presence, returned to a semblance of normalcy, although the echoes of that night continued to resonate within our memories. The forest remained an enigma, its secrets locked away as we closed the chapter on this disturbing event. We understood the true horror could manifest in unexpected ways, reminding us of the thin line between the known and the unknown, the rational and the inexplicable. As I embarked on another night patrol, the memory of that encounter lingered, a constant reminder of the depths humanity could delve into. I remained vigilant, knowing that true horror could lie hidden within the shadows, ready to test the limits of our understanding and challenge the resolve of those sworn to protect and serve. Are you prepared to embark on a haunting journey delving into the depths of nightmare memoirs? Will you dare to uncover the chilling secrets that lurk in the shadows? Join us and become a fearless seeker of all things spooky. Subscribe and like if you dare to traverse the shadowy depths with us.